Hello everyone and welcome to game two in a series between Tarsen and um, Slider. Game two taking place here on Tall Dream Altar and Slider deciding to change colors on me. So let's go ahead and fix that. Slider spawning as the red Protoss player here at the seven o'clock position. Meanwhile, Tarsen spawning as the yellow Terran. Um, yellow Terran, one of my favorite colors, even going back into the Brood War days. So yes, Tarsen spawning as the yellow Terran here on Tall Dream Altar, and we'll see how this map, um, and you know, just really matches up. Tall Dream Altar, one of those maps where Terran players, I, I believe, have to be a little bit more defensive. Um, in my experience, I've always had to play a little bit more defensive on Tall Dream Altar against Protoss, because Protoss is able to foregate and able to warp in, really shrinking the size of this map. So, and any really large map, um, Protoss players can make it feel much, much smaller by moving home field advantage, all with a hundred mineral building, one of the strengths and benefits of Protoss. And now as Slider just continuing to chrono boost and getting a strong economy. Meanwhile, back over here, Tarsen should be sending up that Rax in just a moment. It doesn't look like he's going to go for a wall off at all, deciding to build the barracks inside his base and may try to do another Reaper expansion. Reaper expansion did work out well for him on Terminus Ray, so we'll see if he can repeat his success here on Tall Dream Altar. We are getting an Assimilator and that Gateway, as I mentioned earlier, so pretty much standard builds. No one really trying to change it up just quite yet. Um, Slider thinking to himself that um, he just needs to be perhaps a little bit more careful with those ghosts. He had observers out, perhaps getting one or two um, one or two High Templars for feedback would be enough in order to shut down all of that play. We'll see if he goes towards the Colossus route or if he goes towards the go towards the Archon route. I, I don't think I've actually seen Archon Archon Sentry being used, but in theory that would work out very well against Terran, as you are able to feedback Ghost to make sure that uh, the High Templars or, or the Ghost don't get an EMP Shockwave off onto um, the sentries, and then you can merge them into Archons, and those Archons deal so much damage towards that bio army. Um, in addition to the Guardian Shield surrounding an Archon, it's very difficult to take down something with 350 hit points if it has two armor in the early game. We are getting that one early Zealot out, it may be followed by, up by a Stalker, as a Stalker always needed. The Marine now trying to take focus down Slider's scouting probe to probe, however, already doing a quick turnaround. He didn't want to go inside the base. He just wanted to see where um, Tarsen in fact spawned. And now that one Marine is making its way out, not even activating the Zelnaga Watchtower. The probe not. Command Center coming into play. Reaper coming online as well. We are getting that Sentry at next. And I believe the Stalker, no, only a Zealot. So if that Reaper tries to go inside the base, he will find himself uh, very, very powerful and very strong just because that Sentry is only currently being trained. And um, a Reaper can take down a Sentry rather easily. The Reaper dealing 18 damage a second. Meanwhile, the Sentry only dealing 6. So that is the reason why even though the Sentry does have, um, what, 60-70% more life. The Reaper now going to jump in along that backside, perhaps take down that scouting as a unit over there. Um, is it going to jump up the ramp? It needs to do this before anything really happens. And SCV is going to be able to wander around on the inside here. He does see that there's only Sentries and now the Reaper should be coming in. Where is that Reaper? The Reaper coming in from the backside instead. So th this Reaper may get some probe kills here. There's one sentry over here, and in comes the Reaper. Reaper getting one one probe kill already, going for another. No, going after the sentry. The sentry taking some damage. It just needs to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and there it goes. That Reaper getting off a huge kill on a sentry early in the game. Um, if you guys don't believe me, think about the total resources that this one Reaper has done or, or has dealt in damage. 200 resources lost with one Reaper. Um, that is very effective, but oh, a Zealot now coming in to engage the Sentry, realizing that, hey, I got a lot more hit points than you. I can dish it out. And the Reaper realizing, hey, I'm low on hit points. I should really, really, I guess, hide in a bunker until a Medivac comes into play. You can see the standard three racks play and that we saw earlier. He should be researching Stimpak, training up Marines as well, and now just securely trying to establish this expansion. But we are now going into double forge play, and I am tr curious. I do not think Tarsen has any idea about this. No, he does not have any idea about this. These these forges with double forge play and a twilight council most likely is going to change things up a lot. You can see the amount of gas that um, Slider is currently sitting on as he is now changing into this expansion over here or transitioning into the 
and into a two base play he needs to get some additional assimilators down but he is currently behind in minerals level one level one armor upgrade coming in first so armor upgrade most likely followed by weapons upgrade and as soon as these um, upgrades are about halfway done we should see a twilight council level two upgrades on armor with sentries um, shut down uh, uh, shut down terran infantry so so fast even if you have a ghost off, the sentries can throw up those guardian shields before the EMP shockwave gets down. And then the guardian shield, it lasts 15 seconds. And 15 seconds with an additional plus two armor, increasing the armor from three to five. Um, Marines are only dealing one damage a shot um, if they're unupgraded. And yeah, um, if you think about it this way, it takes 100 shots from a Marine in order to shoot and destroy a zealot with guardian shield only by attacking their hit points so yeah very very beefy units there and we'll see if that's the strategy he does go for we're going into robotics facility though so the twilight council may not be coming in um unless slider actually goes double forge robotics facility twilight council and that is going to be a lot of tech paths to go down and he may not be that focused Harvester count 44 probes versus 34 SCVs as currently tarson behind and supply locked 54 over 54 now getting into 64 over 70 but slowing down his scv production and that is going to hurt him um, you can already see the difference 48 versus 34 scvs tarson has a lot of work to make up a lot of ground to make up right now as we also see tarson going into a ghost academy a very very smart play as we now are seeing that twilight council coming online the weapons upgrade needing about another 20 seconds or so so the timing on the twilight council was um, actually perfect he wasn't chrono boosting uh, the weapons upgrade so he didn't need to get that twilight council nearly as early gateways are now warping in as well so our uh, warp gates are upgrading as well so we are now going into seven or six warp gate play with the robotics facility a lot of production units but tarson now going to try to make a move so tarson ha um, having a very small window of opportunity there and now this poor stalker trying to run away unable to do so and this is a very, very difficult proposition for Slider. Slider only has seven sentries and needs to be able to get off these force fields. There are Marauders and Marines over here. Stalker is getting some damage there. One poor Marine simply just running a marathon trying to get inside the base. Pretty much going to see one um, pylon and that is it. The Observer now making its way out as well. This force... And can deal a lot of damage, but it really needs the ghost as backup. Sentries are sitting over here, two sentries over here, and he may try to come around that far side. One zealot attempting to take down these sets of destructible rocks, and it doesn't look like the level two weapons upgrade are being completed at all. Instead, going for blink. So it is not going to be the Templar Archives. No, it is going to be the Templar Archives, and we may see feedback. And um, so that is going to be very, very interesting to feedback in order to try to shut down those units there and i swear i did not see this replay already if he does go into high templar and now we are getting that level two weapons upgrade that i mentioned earlier so if he does in fact go into high templar and then go into archons to handle this bio army um besides feeling like a mad genius being able to predict what's going to happen um i will just say i'm starting to get better at casting sliders now a slider now and making his way out but the stalker is able to get off a blink getting some damage and shutting down one of the medevacs medevacs are very very slow moving sl um, significantly slower than stalkers as now we see two marines now making their way in but in comes a drop into the base of tarson the me medevac gonna get quickly shot down there slider being very very careful to blink away with those lower hit point units but um, he really needs to constantly engage this one stalker down it goes but i think the losses was actually much much better for slider in that engagement especially if you account for especially if you account for that um high um, if you account for that medevac excuse me sentry is now making their way out there is an observer here gaining a lot of sight and now the stalkers could simply just blink up onto the high ground there stalker is now um activating the zonaga watchtower not going to be able to catch up to that marine even though there was no um what's it called no stim pack there and vikings being added by tarson but tarson not realizing that it is not going to be Colossus play at all. A Marine shutting down the Nexus there. A pylon was built as well. 
that Marine, however, not going to be long for life. Not going to be able to shut down the pylon as the Zealots will be able to warp in in just a moment. Now, a command, orbital command, now trying to get in position. The slider is going to spot this in just a, a second there as the Marine is taking some damage. A Zealot should just um, attack and take that down. But now in come the Stalkers. The Stalkers are now pushing in. Vikings are coming in and there's the force field. So force field coming down. Not that much damage has been dealt with those EMP shockwaves at all. And down goes the orbital command. And more force fields coming in as well. But no size storm to really capitalize on that tightly grouped, um, tightly um, bound group of units there. One set. Oh, there. Double force fields leaving a couple zealots behind. Um, you know, all for the greater good. Uh, yeah, your life for ire. Now returning home. Back over here, this one nexus about to be completed as the units are continuing to push their way out. We are seeing a lot of marines. The marines are upgraded 1-1, one, one, getting the 2-2 two, two upgrades now. But we are now going into the 9 gateway production buildings with the robotics facility, Templar archives, and does he have high Templars? Yes, he does have four high Templar, and with an observer out, he may be able to get some feedbacks off onto those units. It's going to be very, very critical to see those feedbacks. You can see a scanner sweep there. The Vikings now trying to lead a charge, and oh, EMP shockwave. Never have all of your units so tightly bound together. And now in come the High Templar. And the Ghost may get off another EMP Shockwave. Is it going to? No. Unable to there. As both sides are continuing to battle it out. Where's those Psy Storms? There you go. Psy Storm, two of them coming in. And Tarsen having to really think twice if he wants to try to walk up that ramp. His army has seriously been softened, softened up already. Sitting at 80, 18 hit points. The Stalkers may be able to pink, pick off more of those units. And now we should be getting off another side Storm. No, no side Storm yet. As the Stalkers are just continuing to pick off more and more of those Medivacs. Another Medivac getting shot down here. And Tarsen now losing a lot of his very, very expensive Medivacs. Medivacs, 100 minerals, 100 gas. Down to 30 hit points and was able to escape. So Tarsen in a bit of trouble. Uh, Observer may get shot down there. No, down to 12 hit points. Stalker is quickly just um, coming in and just able to shut it down. And now those ghosts need to go off on EMP Shockwave. No EMP Shockwave. Psy Storm coming in. SCVs just coming into the slaughter there. Sentries perhaps going to another Psy Storm coming in. And wow, beautifully done. Archons are now merging into play. And those Archons, which will be upgraded 2-2. Um, no shield upgrades, unfortunately, are going to be able to deal so much damage. Range of three. You can see how much damage that Archon is dealing. The 43 damage with slight splash. And yeah, I believe Tarsen will be forced to say, see, say GG in just a moment. And there you go. So Tarsen losing game two in this series, tying this series up. Thanks for um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, 1v1 replay and game two in the series between Tarson and Slider.